Duplicating the optical illusions caused by depth can be confusing in art, but become much more easy with a few tricks. Although these rules apply to all scenes or objects with depth, they are easier to understand when focusing on geometric forms, so we'll start there. There are two terms that you're going to want to commit to memory, linear perspective and vanishing point. Two lines that are parallel to each other in real life appear to converge closer to one another as they get further away. This creates depth and it's called linear perspective. We will look at how to use it in different situations. When linear perspective occurs, those lines all converge to an imaginary dot called a vanishing point. Let's explore the difference between one point, two point, and three point perspective. The three different points are represented by depth, width, and height. In one point perspective, there is only one vanishing point. Objects are facing the viewer directly, and so the only dimension that requires the skewed lines of linear perspective are lines that create depth. The proportions and lines of height and width stay the same with no skewing of the lines and no additional vanishing points. In two point perspective, the object is typically viewed at its side and that would require both the depth and the width to contain linear perspective. And so, the depth has its own vanishing point, and so does the width. And in three-point perspective, as you can guess, linear perspective affects all three dimensions. This typically happens when you view an object not only on its side, but from above or below. That's what creates linear perspective with height, when the viewer is either looking up or down at the object. This means that there will be three vanishing points, one for each dimension. Many times, the vanishing point does not land on your paper, particularly with three-point perspective. The closer the vanishing points are to each other, the more elaborated the skewing is. This gives the viewer the feeling of viewing the objects very closely. In the next demo, we'll take a look on how to put linear perspective into practice.